All right, guys, one last cornerback video, and we will be done with the outside corners. We still have slot corners to look at, but uh, most of the work will be done after this video. So thanks for hanging with me. We got four more guys. First, Daryl Luther Jr., South Alabama. Not Alabama, South Alabama. Small school here. 23 years old, 6 feet flat, 189 pounds, 32 and 3 eighth inch arms, 10 and 3 eighth inch hands. 40 was lackluster, 446, okay, I guess. Acceleration was meh. Vert was nice, 40 and a half inches. Broad was bleh. The three cone was pretty good, but the uh, 20 yard shuttle was not good. So very mixed bag here so far. Some stuff to like, some stuff to not like. Um, few big boards have them in the seventh. A couple have them in like the sixth. One has them in the fourth. The aggregate has them in the seventh, late uh, late pick. Uh, last year, he gave you a full season, and he gave you seven passes defensed in 13 games and a pick, 42 tackles. Good, but not great PFF coverage grade. The year before, he gave you nine games, four interceptions, which uh, you don't see that in college football that often, and 10 passes defensed. So kind of a tale of two seasons in a way. And um, there's some stuff you like from the most recent season and stuff you like more in the previous season. Now, even though this guy played at South Alabama, he's big enough and long enough to be fine in the NFL, I think. He's got the uh, physical traits that you want. He's explosive and he's got good change of direction. Not worried about that stuff so much. He's excellent in pretty much all elements of zone coverage. He understands um, landmarks, understands routes, understands how to break on the ball when it gets thrown. He's really good at all that stuff. Great at reading routes. Finds ways to disrupt the receiver at the point of catch. Always manages to stick his hand in there and make sure it's hard at the very least. And there is some reason to believe he'll be flexible enough to play man in the uh, NFL as well. Now, he's not a great overall athlete. He is a little bit slow. Not great acceleration. There is some stuff in his athletic ledger that explains why he was at South Alabama and not a bigger school. Um, he's not going to keep up with the fastest receivers with that speed. Uh, sometimes I feel like he's a little indecisive when breaking on a route, even though I do think he's really good in zone overall. I think there is a little bit more you could bring out of him. And of course, he's at South Alabama. The level of competition is low. It's a huge jump to go from South Alabama to the NFL, but he's going to have to do it. But this is exactly the kind of guy that I think Carroll likes to work with. He's big, he's long, he's explosive, he's going to be a great fit for zone. He's proven in the past that he can be a big ball hawk. So I think he'll be right at home in the Carroll cover three, and I think Carroll can mask his shortcomings. So I say fifth round. Fifth round if necessary. You might not have to, but I'd be willing to do it. <coughs> All right. Next up is Anthony Johnson of the Virginia Cavaliers. 24 years old, a little bit of an older prospect, 6'2", 205 pounds, 32 and 5 eighth inches, kind of small hands, 8 and 5 eighth inch hands, uh, really slow 40, really slow acceleration, very, very unexplosive with his jumps. So the combine was um, not not his finest moment. Uh, nevertheless, most of the major big boards had him at least getting drafted. In fact, I didn't see any that had him. The major big boards all have him going in like the fifth or sixth. The aggregate currently has him in the seventh. So a lot of the smaller big boards uh, that I don't utilize individually drag him down significantly for whatever that's worth. Um, over the last two years, he's given you 21 games, 95 tackles, including five for loss, five interceptions, and 17 passes defense, so pretty good ball production. Really nice coverage score from PFF last year, so he finds a way to get it done, even though he's not a really great athlete. He, he's big and he's long, but he's overcoming a lot. He, it seems like he's given up a lot in the athletic area. So... He should be right at home in his own defense. Like, this is not a guy you want playing man. If you put him in man, he's going to have a hell of a time keeping up. He needs to be in zone where he can keep his eyes on the quarterback, keep facing forward towards the line of scrimmage, and read the stuff going on in front of him, allow him to use his brain, not depend on his speed and explosiveness and athleticism, which is all kind of lacking. He's good at finding the ball in the air and going to make a play on it. Great skill for zone. He's good at jamming receivers at the line of scrimmage, which is going to be key for him to overcome his other deficiencies. And he's got really strong instincts in reading plays and routes. This is a very smart player. 
even if he's not a great athlete, he's very smart. Um, I wouldn't expect him to ever be very good in man because of his speed and quickness not being good. He tested really poorly, like I said. He, he doesn't flip the hips very well when he's chasing on vertical routes. And because he's a little bit slow, he can grab sometimes. He gets beat and he grabs, which, hey, understandable, right? Pretty understandable, but it is something you're going to have to deal with. But you know what? Even though this guy doesn't have a ton of upside because he is so slow, like this is no Tariq Wool in here, he's big, he's long, he's smart, he knows how to do zone defense stuff really well. I think that, I'm, I'm not going to go crazy here because he is at the end of the day limited with what he can do, but I would take him in round six, maybe even the fifth. I think he'll be playable. I think he has a somewhat high floor. I think he has a very good chance of finding a way to be successful in the NFL. I just don't think he'll ever be great. Okay, Rajon Wright, a favorite of many Seahawks fans. Oregon State, 22 years old, uh, 6'2", 193 pounds, so decent size. 32 and a half inch arms, nice length, 9 and 5 eighth inch hands. Um, a couple big boards love him, a couple really don't. ESPN... Sports Illustrated and the Draft Network have him hanging around the third. PFF and CBS has, have him going undrafted. The aggregate actually right now has him going undrafted. He's at 258. Maybe he sneaks into the back end of the seventh there, but if he gets drafted, it'll be by the skin of his teeth, according to the aggregate. But uh, this is a guy a lot of people like. Um, over the last two years, he's given you 25 games, about 90 tackles, um, four interceptions, 17 passes defensed. Pretty good coverage grade last year, so a little bit of everything. He's a pretty prolific tackler. He makes interceptions. He makes plays on the ball. Um, didn't do anything at the Combine, so we don't have measurables here, but we have a pretty decent idea of what this guy is. He's pretty big. Handle the big, bigger receivers at 6'2 without big issue. He's good at breaking on passes when sitting in zone. He has a good understanding of when to just go, when he needs to just make his break and go try to get his hand on the ball. <clears throat> he's really good at jamming at the line of scrimmage. He uses his long arms really well. I do think he's somewhat scheme flexible. He'll be able to play at least some in man. And I believe that there's a lot of untapped potential with Wright here that we haven't fully seen yet. I believe that Wright is a guy who has the ability to become much more than what he is right now, which is a guy who is barely considered draftable. I, um, I think that um, there's going to be some work to be done with stuff like his tackling, but hey, that's what the seventh round is for, right? That's what the day three is for. Now, he's not very good at flipping his hips, not very smooth there. His transitions are bad. He, um, If you put him in man defense, he will commit a lot of penalties, I think, because he can't quite keep up. Like I said, he's not a poor tackler. I'm sorry, he's not a good tackler, and he doesn't attack ball carriers very aggressively, and I do believe his play speed, at least, is slow. So you're looking at a traditional Carroll-y kind of corner, somebody who you don't want in man, but somebody who's going to be really good in zone. But I like this guy a lot. I can understand why Seahawks fans like him. I think he'll find a way to success in the Carroll cover three. And as long as he can fix his tackling, I think there is success in his future if he finds his way to a place like Seattle. I would be okay taking him in the fourth, and I would love to take him in the fifth. I have a good deal of confidence in Rajon Wright, enough to spend that early day three pick. I don't think you need to. Doesn't seem like you need to. But if you need to, I'd be okay with it because this is a guy who I do believe in. Last guy is Miles Brooks of Louisiana Tech. 22 years old, 6'1", 201 pounds, 30 and 3 quarters inch arms, 9 and a half inch hands. Uh, the big board that likes him the most by far is CBS. They have him in the very early fourth. Every other big board has him in the 7th or going undrafted. Uh, the mock draft database aggregate has him going in the 6th or 7th. He had one year of production at Louisiana Tech. Not bad. 12 games, 8 passes defensed, 3 interceptions. So made a decent number of plays on the ball. He does have NFL size. 6'1", 201 pounds is good enough. Plenty of ball production last year at Louisiana Tech. He's a good leaper. He's got good hops, did not jump at the combine, didn't do anything at the combine, but he does have that in his ledger. He can keep up in man coverage. He can get physical without committing penalties. He's good at towing the line. 
and he finds the ball well in the air. He's good at locating the ball in the air and going to make a play on it. But there's a lot to work on technically with things like his footwork, with uh, the way he uh, shadows receivers, with the way he stacks receivers, with the way he uh, engages with receivers when they're going through their route in man. There's a lot of stuff, little things he needs to work on. He bites really hard on double moves and fakes. He's not super fast. Not what you would kind of expect at this point in the draft for a bigger guy. His arms are not that long, sub 31 inches, not what we're looking for. I don't think he's good in zone. I don't think he has a good understanding of zone. I think he gets tricked a lot when he's left in zone. And he's not a good tackler. He's not going to be good against the run. He doesn't seem to be particularly interested in helping against the run. And he's a little bit uh, uh, not a great tackler anyway, partially because of his short arms. Can't do anything about that. So I think he's better in man than in zone, and I don't think he's that interesting anyway. He's going to need a lot of coaching just to make it on an NFL roster, I think. So UDFA, kind of a pure UDFA for me and Miles Brooks. Not interested in drafting him, and uh, that'll do it. That'll do it, guys. That's the cornerbacks. So we looked at 16 cornerbacks today. We looked at a lot of cornerbacks over the last three days. It's a pretty solid crop. There's definitely a guy we can find here. I know that we don't have a huge need for one, but I would like to pick one if possible. So let me know what you guys think. I will see you guys later on. Should be on Twitch tonight. Go Hawks. And tomorrow we are going to start on the positions where the Seahawks don't necessarily need anything, but maybe could use something in the right circumstance. See you then. Go Hawks.